bacon and bacon and, and bacon. Bacon. And I love bacon. And a shot glass and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how they turn out. If they taste good. So what is just a hot dog weenie with a whole bunch of bacon wrapped around it? A hot dog weenie. Is there any other kind? A wiener. A wiener. Is there any other kind? I don't know. Sausage? Anyway, yeah. Just a hot dog with bacon. Mm -hmm. See how mm -hmm. it comes mm -hmm. out. Sounds Experiment really here. good. Well, I guess uh, maybe we'll show you guys how it turned out. All right, look at that masterpiece feast right there. One of the hot dogs of the birds. There you go right there. The cheese hot dogs are regular. They're just regular. Hot dogs wrapped in bacon. I guarantee Wimmers would have been better. Yeah. Wimmers, that's uh. These are the rat hot dogs, aren't they? The Oscar Mayer ones? Oh yeah, all hot dogs have rat turds. I think Oscar and... Mayer had the highest um, concentration of rat guts. This is still froze. <laughs> Bacon strips. So what we're doing here is for salads. and We freeze it, we're cooking it, we're going to freeze it. Now when we want a salad, we can pull some out and warm it up a little bit. Throw it in the salad, throw it on a sandwich, do whatever. Have some for breakfast if we have bacon and eggs. You can just pull it out. Rather than buying it pre cooked, we just cook it and freeze it. Mmm. See this? Cast iron. And we're done. I'll show you what we do with the, uh, <coughs> the bacon grease. Okay, we're flipping it again. These better be good. They we look are, good. We are going to put them on a bun. Maybe. I don't know. Almost look good as that. Toothpicks are holding up great. Pretty good, huh? I figured they'd burn up. Looks really good, I'll tell you that. A couple more minutes, or a minute, I don't know. Quick. All right. It's in here, I'm gonna try a bite without mustard first, and then with mustard. I can't stand ketchup, so. See if it needs mustard. You're missing out. <laughs> All right, I'm putting this thing down because that looks way too good. A little good. bit of mustard does. Not a lot, just a little bit. Bacon wrapped hot dogs and we got bacon on the side. Bacon day. Bacon day. All right, I'm going to show you a little trick what we do with our bacon grease here at this house. Um, this here is almost done. This bacon here, you can see all the, the grease flooding in there. Two or three packages or whatever we did in each pan. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to let that cool off a little bit before I transfer it over. What we do is we take the bacon grease and we put it in a like a glass jar, and uh, you can strain it really good and make it pretty darn clear if you wanted to. But we're not really worried about straining it. We're just worried about using it for a uh, a lubricant, so to speak, for your uh, non-stick pans or for your cast iron stuff. Uh, any kind of animal fat's really good for uh, these cast iron pans. So we save this and we use this for cooking. Uh, the same way our ancestors did by rendering animal fat and using that animal fat uh, a second time so that um, you don't have to waste it. I know a lot of people might think, oh, this is so gross, you know, that's bacon grease and that's, you know, going to kill you and blah, 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 and it gets bad. But it doesn't. Put that in the uh, refrigerator right there, and once it gets cooled off really good, It'll turn hard and it looks just like lard. It's bright white. Take a little bit of that, throw in your pan, grease your pan up, store them that way. Then when you come out and use them, put a little more grease on them, heat up the pan and cook whatever you want and uh, it should be pretty much non-stick. And uh, it's a good way to use your bacon grease so you don't have to throw it in the trash 
and it's really really good to make just about anything taste better get that good bacony uh, taste um, you get seasoned in your cast iron pans <clears throat> just like all cast iron pans that you need to keep up on the maintenance on them uh, it's not a lot of maintenance uh, the more seasoned your pan gets the easier it is to, to, to maintain that if you look closely in this pan you probably can't see it in this pan here there's actually a lighter gray color here and a darker gray color here this is not completely seasoned all the way and if you look at this pan here it's just solid black there's no gray at all this guy here is really well and seasoned hardly anything sticks to that at all so bacon grease is a really good option to use so you can use lard or manteca or whatever the heck you call it uh, any kind of animal fat that you render yourself but this is just one way to not throw this stuff away and it works out really good it actually is good for your cast iron and it makes your uh, I mean, everything tastes better with bacon right alright tip of the day there